I can hear them from here. Hear what? The lash technicians coming to drag me in the comment section. <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? Yes. The first thing I'm gonna do at this table is the same thing I've been doing, which is forever on a quest to become the most beautiful person that has ever lived, undisputed, hands down. So I am a YouTuber, first and only of my kind. I'm rare, like a dragon. Right, Julian? You're like a dragon. Go on. You scream loud. <laughs> Before all of the lash technicians drag me, I will give a disclaimer about what I'm doing right now. I bought one of these Ardell lash extension kits. Now technically this is called tabbing because you're putting these little knots and not individual lashes on. And it's also, I think, it's not like the same kind of glue that a lash technician would use to adhere your lashes professionally because they apparently need to be like separated and like done really nice. So like if you're looking to get your lashes done, like go to a professional. I think this is kind of for people, well like me, right? So you glue a strip lash on occasionally, but like sometimes I just like them to stay on for a little longer than that. But this is like, stick them on, see how long they last. There's been terrible reviews about this remover that actually just burns the fuck out of your eyes. So I will never be using that. I will only be using coconut oil. I'm gonna wash them and treat them the same as like a lash extension, because I have had them once before. They were lovely, but the woman was like, text me when you want another appointment. And I texted her and she just never texted me back. So I took that very personally. I felt like she just didn't like me. So I let them all fall out, never did that again. When you get ghosted by the lash technician. <laughs> she ghosted me. I sat there silently. I don't Last know what I Last technicians did. be like. <laughs> Plus, if it has controversial reviews, give it to me. I can't wait to try it. Does it burn your eyes? Does it hurt them? Give it to me. Wait, what? You're gonna burn your eyes? Yeah. I'm like that friend if they're like, hey, I think there's a bear over there. I'm the one that's like, let me go check. I will say my experience with individual lashes is incredibly limited. I usually use a strip lash and cannot be bothered with this shit. I'm literally gonna read you the instructions. There's almost nothing on here. It says pour two to three drops of lash adhesive on a piece of foil, drop it into the glue and then put it over your natural lash. And then the next step is how to remove them. The medical grade glue or whatever a lash tech uses, like your eye needs to be closed because it like, it'll, the fumes will hurt your eyeball. This says nothing about keeping your eyes closed or anything like that. So I think this is definitely like a lower grade, I bought this at the drugstore type of glue. Going to get your lashes done is pretty expensive, which is like my whole thing, right? If it's expensive, there's gotta be a way to learn how to do it and do it yourself. Plus That's you know, why my hair be looking so great. <laughs> like I said before in my disclaimer, I think this is sort of like a, you do it once in a while. I don't think it should or could replace like a, a professional lash. The glue won't come out. Well, it's the glue, so. This is very Glue cool. be like. <laughs> Julian, do not. All right, so my lashes are very clean and dry. I just like triple checked them. So this comes in a pack of short, medium, and long, but I also bought like a ton of extras because I didn't really know what was gonna happen here today. I've also read that less glue is better because apparently it might dry a little crusty. Oh, look, I just put a lash on. Damn, you found a way. So I pushed it in there and then that's Gave it a squish. What do you think? Are we done here? I literally see no difference. You know, what wait, why are you laughing? They look like they're crossing their fingers. One already came off and all I did was just like breathe. I don't understand. Wait, so is this one done now or should I try doing it again? I don't know the rules. Oh no, now that one's coming off too. So far this has turned out to be a challenge. It's not stuck. All right, maybe I need a little more glue because these aren't, they're not stuck to anything right now. I mean, to be fair, this glue wouldn't really come out, so. Oh, there, oh. oh there it came out. When life is glue. Julian, I need you to stop it. We're starting over. I got a lash. I'm gonna dip it in a little glue. Look at it. I can't get it straight. Now it's upside down. What do you want me to do? I'm trying to put tiny eyelashes on my face. Oh no, this is starting to look real butt. Can you even tell? I, can, I got a macro and zoom lens right here so I can see. Oh God. Like every single one has to be like straight and pointed out. Like it's almost impossible. Look at this one. It just went fucking rogue and came off. I'm not sure I've done anything more like tedious and frustrating in my life. All the YouTube videos that I watched were all like, so you just take your tweezers and you put it on your eye and then it's done and you have beautiful lashes. Is that what a YouTuber sounds like? Uh-huh. Well, so far it's been an hour. 
Julianne, don't remind me that I waste my time. <gasps> I don't think that one's gonna stay. It's got an agenda of its own. It's like looking at your nose. I thought I was gonna be able to do this. Stop. That's kind of pretty, but like, it's not very good. Let's move on to medium. Ooh, I feel like I'm getting a little better. Oh, bitch. I do remember the one time I got lash extensions cause I have like sad lids that go like down really hard and then the corner ones just always just look real sad and out, you know? That's not a good look, but that's my look. <sighs> you dropped something on your, uh, on your cheek. You, uh, you dropped something on your cheek. I just put that one straight into my eye. Ooh, they're looking okay. Like in the- When you lower your standards- Julian, come on, I'm trying my best. The corners are definitely the hardest. They like misbehave. Yeah, that one on the left is not doing what you told me to. What, this one? No, my left, the stage left. This one? Don't stage left me. I feel like this is kind of time consuming, but like, I'm, I feel like it's worth it so far, no? Yeah. I guess it all depends if they actually stay on my eye, but like, this looks like a beautiful, hairy set of lashes. It's nice and hairy. I actually want to run my fingers through your eyes. No, 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 you're not allowed to do that. I want to run my fingers. You're not allowed I to do that. I want to feel your eyes. Is it too long in the middle? I mean, I can say that I am having a good time. Like, the glue- Definitely, me too, me too. Oh, bitch. Hey, that actually looks like not that bad. Really? It lasts longer than if you just glue a strip on you. A pi well, a strip is like you take it off at the end of the night, but these apparently, are, it says, can last for weeks. Is that too much? Do I look extra? Because I have the too much gene and I don't know when to stop. No, it looks good. Oh, bitch. I'm not having any of these, like people were saying that they didn't really stick or like that the glue is irritating. Like I'm not having any of those problems. I am having a great time right now. Kanche, bye. I love you. I think that looks really, really nice. Yeah, it looks less cookie cutter than your average like line of lashes. You can tell when I'm wearing a line of lashes. No, I'm saying like it has more texture. It's like up and down a little bit. It's nicer. It's, it's like more volume, more character. Stop looking at me like that. Maybe in the morning, I'll give you an update on how just like a night goes. Cause I feel like if they make it through the first night, there's a chance that they're gonna stay on there and hang out for a while. But if they can't make it through a sleep, they're not gonna last. To be fair, this was my right eye. I am right-handed. Stage left for those on the It's about to go down. <laughs> Do you do the easy one first? When you procrastinate your problems? <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> oh my God. I wish I didn't have a nose. It's like a puzzle that doesn't want to get done. Those lashes remind me of like the zipper on a Ziploc bag. Compliments like that aren't compliments. You know why? Why? Because I'm looking at a snack. <laughs> Take everything back. Okay, I just mushed two of them into one. Like everything was going great. I have like one good eye. Right now is the moment when the going's getting tough. But we just, we gotta focus. We gotta get our, ooh, left hand ready. What if I got my left hand ready? Oh my God. Da, 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 da. It's completely stuck to the tweezers. Oh, I think I might be gaining some momentum. Stage right is coming along. Stop calling my left eye stage right. I've never needed as much patience as I do doing this. It takes the patience of a Virgo to get the left eye done. It's not looking too hot right now. <laughs> get off my tweezer. I just want to jam it into my eye at this point. There's a gap and then a traffic jam. It doesn't look awful. Yes, it does. It just looks a little more confused than the stage left. Everybody's gonna know I did my lashes at home. <sighs> I don't know if I can make it. I don't know if I can do it. They're all tipping the wrong way. Oh my God, how is anyone supposed to do this? See how they're all just like leaning into my fucking, the middle of my face? I can't straighten them out. They don't care about me. Oh my God. It's like, it's getting worse. Hey, I need encouragement. You can do it. Like the root, like this one, all the roots are super even and clean. And this one, they're just like everywhere. That looks good. I've never been tested like this. Will you encourage me? You're doing great. You look hot. You're a lash goddess. I don't want to be a lash goddess. I want to be done with this. Honestly, I understand why this costs hundreds of dollars. This is the most annoying thing I've ever done. It looks good. You're doing really well. So infuriating, especially for a Virgo like me who needs everything to be perfect. I'm very angry. Ow. What? 
I squeeze my eyelid and now my eye hurts. I feel like it's taken my soul with me. These First ones are all over the place. These ones are gonna fall off for sure. Ooh, ooh. Honestly, a longer lash actually helped a little in there. No, we didn't. Oh, is it like passable? I'm not even lying, it looks good. The internet is gonna disagree with you and then go roast me. It came out clean, it came out nice. For the most part, like the, the lash line is even, it's pretty. And this one is like, you can see all the knots, all the glue, just everything is everywhere. They look identical. Oh, they do. I thought you were done. So did I. This eye, I can already feel like some of them don't feel as adhered as the right eye does. I'm a little disappointed for all the amount, ow, oh, excuse my eyelid, for all the amount of people that do these types of tutorials on YouTube, they're all, most of them are just like, all right guys, thanks so much for tuning in, I'm done, and they're like perfect and amazing. <laughs> Where is your struggle? Like how did you fucking do that, okay? They feel like individual lashes, so they feel like lighter. I thought for some reason maybe if this glue was like more heavy duty, it would feel different, but it really doesn't. Like, do you feel like it could run faster with them on? Yeah, for sure. I mean, they'll flap in the wind, big time. But I mean, I'll at least wake up in the morning and show you what they look like then. Cause I have a feeling we go- On social media? No, in this video. Cause I have a feeling we're gonna lose some men in here and in here. And then this one's just gonna stay like this. I don't think these ones are even gonna make it through the night, some of them. They just struggled their way on there. That's sort of like a, a deal breaker for me. If like, I can only successfully achieve it on one eye, then like, what's the point? Which is being honest with ourselves here, you're not saving yourself anything if you can't fucking do it, right? Ambidextrous people be like, Julian, I can't relate. This was very inexpensive, but if you're skilled at individual lashes, maybe this is a thing that you could do for like, if you had a week that you wanted to have pretty lashes for. If you don't know how to do that left eye, or if you're left-handed, you don't know how to do that right eye, I'm not sure this is a worthy endeavor. My spirit is tested. I was broken halfway through. I mean, it, it cost less than going to a professional, but it definitely- oh, you save all that money yourself? Yeah. I'll check in with you in the morning and we'll see how things are going. If I run into any problems, I need a, a snack and a, a large glass of water. I feel dehydrated after I did this. It took way too long, and I don't want to tell you how long it took, but you know what? I'll check in with you in the morning. <laughs> It's the next morning. First thing that happened last night when I finished filming was one of them promptly fell out of this eye. We played some video games and my eyes were starting to get so irritated. Even this eye, which I thought I had done so well, all of my user error started to just bleed out. And I could really feel that one is like too close to my lash line and is poking me. There's also, I don't know if you can see, I don't know how close I can get you, but all of the white crusty that people are talking about uh, in the reviews. I am experiencing, even though I truly believed I would be in the minority and not have this happen to me. It's not super visible unless you were very close to my eye, but it is still irritating. But I mean, they're holding up pretty okay. That you're not supposed to get them wet for at least 24 hours. So I'm gonna give them a fighting chance and not get them wet for 24 hours. But they do definitely, like if I touch them and move them, like some of them you can tell are really just ready to go at any second. <laughs> so I think the first time I get them wet, we're gonna lose some good men. I really feel like these are an alternative to strip lashes. They're not an alternative to lash extensions. Like even for the comfort of your eye, unless you're very skilled at placing them, which I know some people are. It, this is just like, it's really bothering me. Like it, this one hurts a lot in here. <laughs> and I have the urge to just rip them out, but I'm trying really hard. I'm really starting to feel the consequences of my decisions on day two. You know what I'm saying? But I think you know where this is going. I think the answer is, this is probably not something I can DIY. <laughs> probably leave this to the professionals and or just stick with the strip flash. It doesn't, I'm not feeling good. Some of the stuff I've been able to DIY and been like, you could save a bunch of money. This is so much better. This time I just failed. <laughs> but I don't think it's this product. I think it's my ability to create this um, look in a way that's even good for your eyes. What's so funny? Your face. It's face. only been like however many hours and more of them have come out. Do they look crazy? They look good, but it doesn't seem to be functional given how much mental trauma and emotional distress it's given you. But I want to be beautiful. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get some coconut oil 
and have a funeral for them. I feel like I can't see out of my eyes. My eyes are irritated. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on here. I'm sure these are great for someone, just not me. Is this why I'm not allowed in the beauty community? Cause I'm too threatening with my beautiful good looks that I achieve at home for less. I just, oh, it feels so wrong. I've met my beautiful people match. I don't wanna pull them cause I don't want my real lashes to come out trying to salvage what I got left. I didn't even make it a full 24 hours. I just want to be beautiful. It's like sharp chunks of glue in here. I can feel it. I'm not sure I've ever felt more uncomfortable than I do right now. Bad. That's really, I know that you're coming from a good place, but it's not helpful. Oh my God, are they off? <gasps> I'm free from the prison that I created around my eyes. Well, I think we've learned a lot. Most of it, I guess, didn't need to be learned, but we learned regardless, and that's all that matters. Uh, I have a new appreciation for my natural lashes. I hope that they stay. I like them very much. I will never wish they were longer and thicker and fuller ever again, except when I want to glue on a strip lash. That's probably about it. Or go to a professional. This is just not within my capabilities to hack. This isn't a life hack at all. It's just like a, a life punishment. If you want to relive this experience for yourself, do so at your own risk. This has been my experience. Subscribe!